There we go. What Tim's doing here is a kettlebell front squat. Um, those kettlebells are uh, 36 pounds a piece here. He's squatting down. He's thinking about keeping his hands and palms together here. He's going to do 10 reps. He wants to get his elbows to his thighs, keeping his back nice and flat here. Great core exercise here, as well as leg strengthening exercise. The second exercise we're going to do here is a uh, chin up. And Tim's going to place the purple band around his, his shin there. And he's going to, that's going to add him a little resistance there. I mean, a lot of, add, uh, add assistance, excuse me. It's going to help him pull himself up. If you can't, if you don't have a band here, you can, you can purchase it online or you can use a lap pull down machine. Or if you have one of those really fancy Gravitron machines at your gym, you can use that as well. So those, that's about, that helps him out about 20, 30 pounds. Now Tim's going to move over to an 18 inch box here. And he's going to do single leg step ups here. What he's thinking about doing here, he has his right foot up on the box there. He's thinking about pulling his body up, and he's not letting his other foot touch there. It's a single leg exercise. We're going to make it a single leg bouncing exercise there. Uh, you want to be able to use the box that's appropriate height there, 12 to 18 inches, depending on your leg length here. Tim's, uh, how tall are you, Tim? 6'2". So, Tim's 6'2", so he uses an 18-inch box. If you're under 6 feet, probably use a 12-inch or 16-inch box. But he's looking really good there. He's thinking about staying tall throughout the movement. Uh, the kettlebells that he has there, they're 25 pounds, so somewhat light, going 10 reps on each leg. Make sure you do everything on the right as you do on the left there. It's looking really good, keeping the chest up tall. The fourth and final exercise here, he's got a, it's, called a, it's called a kettlebell push press. Yep, and what he's thinking about doing here, he's slightly, a good athletic base, feet are shoulder apart. He's squatting down, slightly dipping and driving the weight above his head. And as, right, as, as you can see, his palm is facing in. As he comes up, he's going to corkscrew and bring his hand forward there, getting all the good shoulder stabilizers there. Slight use of the legs there. The kettlebell is resting against his forearm and his, and his upper arm, his bicep. Again, we're going 10 on each side here. And this is really good. This is full body, working his core as well as his shoulder and a little bit of legs as well, looking on the, looking on the drive of the legs there. Great for fencers because it's a single arm activity as well as any kind of sport. <sighs> Looking great. It's making this look real easy. It's really difficult. 